Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are officially getting into the nitty gritty of college. I graduate in May. I'm not even knocking on wood because I'm graduating, okay? I paid my graduation fee. So I want to pass my knowledge on to up and coming college student, current college student, those who are struggling to see if they want to go to college or if they don't. I just want to, I have so much information I want to give out. I have a whole document, y'all, which I'm, y'all gonna see me look to the left. It's just like I see um, which one I'm talking about because it's gonna be like just a, like I'm gonna upload these randomly because I do want to like give you guys a lot, okay? So today, we are gonna talk about living on campus versus living off campus and if it's right for you. So let's get into this video. Okay, y'all, so first thing first, we're talking about on campus, okay? On campus housing is more expensive. You wouldn't think it because, well, I guess new people, like freshmen wouldn't think because they're like, they have somewhere to stay, they have somewhere to eat and everything's around you. No, it's hella expensive, especially depending on the school you go to. Let's say for me example, for my example, I go to school in state. If you're out of state, it's way more expensive. You like triple that number. Um, but the prices you, so I, I should have said this too, but I'm only going to say this. The prices you see online for a school is not the price. That's mostly, I think it's true for um, international students and out of state students. But in state students, you're not paying near that much. Mine say 12000 but like it's really like 9000 And that's just, that's with the um, dorm included. So, we, like what you're paying um, for a dorm fee y'all it's insane it's insane i paid i'm not i'm not on campus right now i like took off this um my last semester just to save some money because i was spending that much i um my price was like 3800 it went to, it, it kept going up and i was like yeah this is getting ridiculous and then also just because of the price you would think you're getting something nice y'all these buildings are outdated they don't fix anything they don't fix anything i did a video Oh, like a couple like a while ago last semester when my whole dorm flooded from the t the old toilet y'all so you have to deal with like uh, um all that in the dorm room and the fact that things are old and it's so expensive my sister had a um, my sister goes to a school in another city and tell me why hers it's also expensive but also her dorms were like really bad she also had problems so you you got to deal with that stuff and then it all they it's just like they just try to fix stuff but they don't fix the right things these dorms are old unless they're building a modern new building about every dorm room is old also because they y'all they're not fixing anything you live in like all they have think about it, you're in a room with that other people have been in for like years and decades that's actually it's actually gross when you think about it but yeah it's hella expensive to stay on campus you have to you're paying for that you're paying for all the fees and um yeah let me break this down you're but you're paying for all the fees that's on campus so even if you don't use them you're paying for them and y'all can try to fight it because i tried to fight this one now i was able to get my meal plan canceled which that'll be another video but y'all well i guess i can do it on this video oh yeah i uh, was able to um i tried to go back and forth with all the fees and um how much you spend because i'm like i don't use this stuff they give you a gym fee and i like the gym fees because you can go whenever you want and use everything and my school has a huge gym you can use anything go swimming you can rent out the um like all the sports stuff which i think is really cool you can rent out, you can rent out a canoe so like that stuff is worth it okay but then you have like every lab fee no matter what your major is there's a building and they're going to charge you a lab fee for it even if there's no lab in there y'all i'm getting charged a lab fee and i don't even have a lab in my building or maybe i just didn't see it or it's in a basement somewhere but you're dealing with the student athletic fee so those of you still paying a fee and then that the thing about that is all this stuff changed well those athletic fees change um they they change the price every semester so ours used to be like 185 they're like 268 now so they're constantly changing and i tried to go back and forth i was like i don't use none of this stuff why am i being charged this stuff and they say because the school has to keep up the um you you're you go here and they have to keep up the sports and i'm like 268 dollars times like 
30,000 students is a lot of money and that's every semester when you break it down like that that's a lot of money I, I doubt they're gonna miss my little 268 but yep no I didn't win that for you but um it's just all these random fees you have your um mail fee if you stay on campus because you have a mailbox so that's why i always tell people it's easier it's better to go use that stuff because you don't even know you have it people might not look at their bills i always look at my own uh, like what they're charging me so it's really it's really good to do that okay y'all if you're listening you need to go do it if you're on campus make sure you have a mailbox because it's, it's free and you're getting charged for it um they charge you a radio fee and don't nobody listen to the radio on campus like what i didn't even know they had a radio on my on my um campus y'all i was like i was like there's a radio station okay cool but i don't listen to none of that i don't even get an email about it so they charge you like a five dollar radio fee y'all it's just all these useless like the small fees that they charge people and they're not useless but it's like it's a it adds up okay especially for those who pay out of pocket they pay like out of pocket and i'm gonna get into that next you're also paying for food okay food is the most important thing that and having somewhere to sleep okay so we already went through with the dorms the dorms is just expensive and then with the dorms you want to so let's talk about this you have to where do you want to stay on campus you have um on campus apartments and you have on campus housing the apartments are usually more they're more exp uh, they're actually a little bit cheaper depending because you have roommates and they're the dorms are more expensive depending on where you stay i was in the upper class dorm y'all let me oh my god i'm not even gonna front i had it good since i've been in school okay i went to a two-year at first that was on campus and i was I, I had a really nice room those rooms were nice and they were updated and then when i got my own room they were just so nice over there then i transferred here and i got into the upper class dorm as a sophomore because i was working on campus in my other school and she knew somebody who worked there and she put me on the list for that dorm and I was like thank you so I never had to be I never had a public bathroom y'all I cannot do public bathrooms so I never had to use a public bathroom in my life and I'm so happy sorry for y'all who did but I did not I had to um I had it good but those dorms are still old they weren't too too old but they were not updated my room last semester was trash so yeah I still made it I make it cute though you can literally make it like I always say decorate please decorate your room to make it more comfortable you have to I just think you, have, you need to be comfortable in your room I don't want it to look like a dorm while I'm in there I have to make it cute so yeah along with the living thing yeah you have off-campus housing and you can the apartments I don't like the off-campus housing where I'm at in other states they have the cutest freaking apartments apartments and I'd be so jealous but these on my campus are not they, the on campus apartments are not good off campus they're just not that good you better I'll just get a regular apartment if you're gonna do that so now we're talking about food okay <sighs> you gotta eat <laughs> you gotta eat as they tell you you have to eat you have to have a meal plan but the thing is that they're so expensive the cheapest meal plan here where I'm at is $1,800. Oh my God. And it's like a 15 meals per week. Don't nobody eat that much food in a week because it's like unlimited amount of food. And you can, always, people um, will easily get food and just like um, put it in containers and just take it back to their dorm. I don't. I stopped using my meal plan. Mm, second semester I got here because I found out I was allergic about everything. And even their veggie burgers make, was making me swell up because they're frozen and I don't know what they're made of. So I stopped using, I stopped, um, I had to fight this y'all too. Well, not really. They come on saying you have to have a meal plan, meal plan. I was like, no, because I'm, I'm getting sick. And they was like, well, you need a doctor's note. So I ended up getting that and I had to go to the disabilities office. So this is a tip. Even if the y'all don't, you might have to fake it, okay? Just say, uh, you can go to the doctor easy to get a doctor's note and somebody you got allergies. And go to the disability service and they will, t um, they will, What's, it, what's the name for it? They will say you're okay to take, they'll just take it off every semester. And I got that money taken off. So that's minus $1,800 and I was still, it was, everything was still expensive because of the dorm. So that really did help y'all. It is ways to get over that. It's just, you gotta find it. This really might be a long video cause I'm still on the first bullet. Like I'm still on everything just like is expensive and that's funny. <laughs> so y'all. Along with that, we have, uh, I think that is it, like the um, the on campus, like the expensive part is like, it's just everything, you pay for everything. That's all it is, you're paying for everything. So next, you are by everything, what, what is that? Yeah, I'm reading my thing. You are by every, okay, you're ev you're by everything and you're closer to classes. That's what we're trying to talk about. That is a good thing about being on campus. You can walk everywhere, you don't need a car. Actually, 
some schools don't allow you to have cars the first semester if you're staying on campus. I think it's inter it's interesting, but they say it's to give the student some independence. But I'm like, well, that's not fair because I'm like, I want to drive and I don't want to stay on campus. But some people force you to stay on campus too, which is crazy. And I'm like, well, you're not paying my bills. So like, no, <laughs> you've got to fight that too. But you are by everything and everything is walking distance when you're on campus, which is nice because when you're on campus, it's typically a... um a college town and there's a lot of stuff that cater to um, students you get a lot of deals and I, I really do so you take advantage of that download uni days because y'all I've been using that since I've been in school it's so freaking helpful they got deals for everything so that is that really good and then you're also like you you find deals at like any grocery store you go to they, they help the college students out we have a gas station that cater to college students it's like I'm gonna miss the perks, okay? I'm gonna miss the perks, because there's a lot of perks. Okay, next, um, you live with strangers. Talking about dorms and, you know, apartments. Y'all are literally with strangers. You don't know these people unless you came in school with them. You're living with somebody who don't know you. If you're, yeah, if you stand on the campus, you stand with somebody who don't know you, who never like seen your style of cleaning. So you're, it's like two people clashing for the first time. I've always had this, y'all. I had a couple of roommates because I'm, I'm always unsatisfied with my roommates because people just don't um, add up to my cleanliness, and I just, I hate cleaning up at the people. Okay, that's just what it is. And you're like this 24/7 with people you don't like. <laughs> I think. Um, with that Yik Yak app, y'all, y'all know it. Everybody in college has that, and I swear to God, last semester, everybody was telling me how they hated their roommates. I swear to God, it was like a chat of like 10,000. Everybody on campus was telling me how much they hate their roommates. I was like, oh my God. I was like, I don't hate my roommate, we just do our own thing. But like, I just, yeah, it's like, I, she was probably the, cleanly, the cleanest roommate I had. Nope, the other girl too, I had two clean roommates. But, not just at the school, but it's like you're clashing with somebody you never met before, and it can it really can get bad on campus. Like you get it be fights. People literally it just be it's wild. Okay. Anyways, let's go to the next one. Just know you gotta be careful. Don't let people use your stuff. Okay. I've had this happen to me, y'all. Put your I don't put nothing outside. Depending on how the lay out of your room, I had uh, uh, y'all seen this on my channel. You can go look again if you want me to do a tour and fix this room up. We have we had like a bathroom on the outside with the vanity. I don't set my stuff out there because I don't want my stuff near other people's stuff. That's just how it is. OCD kick in. So um, next we I have you are officially independent, guys. You're on campus. If you're on campus. Your parents dropped you off and then left you, okay? They dropped you off and they're out of here. You're on your own. No more, I want to go home. I, no, you're not in high school no more. And this is for freshmen. You're not a kid anymore. You're officially on your own. And people get so happy about staying on campus because of that. But it's so much more to it. It's like you literally can't. It's like it's so easy to screw up. That's what's crazy. People don't realize that until like their junior year, and that's a tip. That's actually seen that um, seen that uh, fact that you don't really, really, you don't realize anything in college until you're in your junior year. Once you slacked off, and those who aren't that smart has been um, dealing with like academic suspension like two times, and then they threaten to take your money, in, and that's that's when you get it together. It's like it take a while, a punch to the face, and like a realization. Maybe a cop to pull you over to like actually get you together. <laughs> Y'all, these campus police do not play. They be getting these people on campus 24-7. It was one night I was looking out of my door being nosy. And it was like four cops. They was like, I was like, what are they holding up? They holding up everybody for? They put, they was like pulling people over 24-7. It was a bar over there and it was like 2 a.m. Stuff do be going, being crazy at time, y'all. But yeah, you're independent. You have to act independent. You need to like save your money, do all this stuff. It's time. Okay, it's actually time to like get it together once you're on campus. Next, um, you will need to save. People don't think they need to save once again because you get a refund check. That check is only for the semester. You need to save your money. Take it from me with somebody who never saved their money in college. Okay, save your money. Um, you can go to events quicker. That's a good thing. You can go to every event if you want to. If you're that type of person, go anywhere. Walk to anything. I think that's the fun of it. Um, you meet new people. Even though I talked about how bad the roommates know, like can be, you do meet a lot of new people. And I think it's cooler because it's hard to meet people off campus. Um, and then the last part that I want to tell you guys is that you need to be careful. 
there's so much crime on campus y'all oh my god i've been seeing the news recently we get a, um on my campus we get a, a excel sheet of everything that happened crime they, they the, the police give us everything and i think that's why the schools are really really good but they don't have that much crime here and i was just like you know it'd be like not it's sad to say the typical stalking situation it was, it was like three stalking six it was, it was like 12 stalking situations last semester i was like who is actually stalking out here y'all got some crazy boyfriends and uh, uh and it was like you got other assaults and stuff the you know what the big r it was like one of those last semester i was like oh my god it's like it really deep so i think it was like a homicide last semester and that is big i was gonna say because but there's no reason that should have happened but it was um a frat boy is always the fraternities so it was a house that nobody even like they said nobody ever checks on them and it was like drugs involved and i was like oh my god like what the heck but yeah stuff like that happened be careful if you go to parties you need to always take somebody with you first of all and have your location on okay because you just never know what happened we had an overdose last sem um, last semester two on our campus and thank god somebody saved them it's just crazy okay now let's get to off campus because this is completely different kind of not really but yeah it's like kind of like a little bit more to it okay so first guys you'll need a job depending on where you stay okay for example i'm not working right now i was working but i ended up um quitting my job and now i'm looking for another job but if I'm with my mom, okay, and she don't mind me not working right now because I'm still in school, but I do, I'm still looking for a job because I want to work and save some money. But like, depending on your situation where you're living, you're gonna need a job if you're staying off campus in, in an apartment, you know. So, with the off campus apartments, you can get by, this is actually possible, you can get by in a regular apartment with your refund check depending on where you go because some people get like five thousand dollars back from their refunds y'all that's actually possible especially when you're on scholarship you can get by a semester with like just your refund check but i just don't think that's like doable because i'm just like i'm paranoid of like paying rent i would be paranoid i never have to pay rent y'all and i'm really nervous too i don't want to that's what it is okay but yeah it's good to have a job to save some money just to have food and stuff you know to eat and go buy and do stuff on your own and also you need gas to get into school so yeah it's good to have a job. If you don't want a job, good for you. I wish I could do that and I need I don't want to work. <laughs> so next, can be cheaper to live with parents depending on where you live at. I live with my mom and it's definitely cheaper and you could definitely save some money while staying with family. I like it. It's like it's not a big thing a big deal. I do my own thing up here, okay? I got my own space up here. It's relaxing. I can do my videos and my mom we just we we have fun through the day with talking to each other 24 7 but i love to come up here even though my, my pets don't leave me alone it's like it's peaceful my room is very peaceful for me um also the commuting oh my god you're commuting to school especially depending on where you live i drive 30 five minutes every time I go to class but thankfully this semester is my seminar class so we don't even meet we meet like a couple to like once a week or one or two times like every other week my next class is like not even to like next week Wednesday so or next Monday so thankfully I've been lucky enough to like not have to go to class that much this semester but the bad thing is that when I was working last semester yeah I literally had to drive I had to go to work every day I had to drive back to like my city 30 and I was work, I was living I was working in my city but going to school in another city 35 minutes every day back and forth that, that was gas all my and i was working part-time so i wasn't making nothing y'all and my money was going to my gas and i was just that's the real reason i quit i was like i'm not saving nothing here <laughs> i gotta go so um the last thing i got on here is that it's harder to meet new people and it's harder to make friends y'all on the yik yak app this is something app we had a um there was a people somehow sad it is how hard it is to make friends on campus i was like that is actually really sad because it's like you can't you're not on campus 24 7 you can't just go to your dorm they drive home people have to work they actually got stuff to do they can't just stay on campus and i feel so bad because it's like it is harder to meet new people i am a friendly person i normally just go up to people if i'm like if i see someone I'm like, oh, hey i compliment them first that's my um, tactic to meet new people i compliment them first and it's just it's a it, it gets a positive vibe when you do that so i always recommend that but people do their own thing but yeah y'all and also you're still very independent when you're doing this okay you're very independent it's really like a lot of the same things you can't go to um you can go to events but it's like harder to get there and also people work see they miss when they're off campus they miss a lot mostly people who are off campus everybody's working so it's, it is harder to like do things on campus y'all 
So yeah, those are just a little bit of like my tips, okay? Because I've been in school since 2017. I always gotta say this. Graduated at I graduated with my associates in 2019. Then I went to another school, ended up changing my major, and that's why I did four years. Because if not, it would have just been 10 years. I would have graduated two years ago. I was actually a biology major before this, y'all. And we're going to talk about majors on this channel, okay? Because I really want to tell you guys, which I might do in the video next about it. How to pick your, what's your major and how to pick it? We'll see. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this was informal for you guys who are in college and need like a little guidance, okay? Because I am here for you guys guys to give my knowledge to you i have so much to tell you guys and on that note i will see you guys on the next video bye